stacks. Hmm. Short bows and thorns. Yes, those are good. Short bows and thorns are great. That is most ranger comps. What are you building into in the late game to justify the poison ivy pickup? Keeps me alive, I guess. More gold to play with. Build into sustain, not heavy DPS. That's what I was doing, and I was just losing every late game fight. The only time I had any success was a Steel Giver game where I had Lamp and was actually able to put Fox on people. Whenever I built Cure defensively, I was just a worse version of Reaper Poison. I mean, this was earlier tonight. I was playing it a bunch. Um... Oh, yeah. A lot of stuff can win early diamonds. Like, we're getting to the point where our testing starts being not real. At diamond 53. Where do you find orbs? With Ivy, then Mega Clover. Um, yeah, I don't know. The thing about Mega Clover is at least it wins in survival. I I feel like you flex between Big Bowl of Treats and Mega Clover based on how many lives you have, but I don't know. Ivy just isn't where I wanted to be. After playing it a bunch. Okay. Yippee. Yippee. Orb. I'm gonna need this. Ugh. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a huge fan of Clover either. But like, it is very much a, you make it to round 15 and you're very strong now. Where it feels like Ivy peaks at like, Round 10. And then after that, you're just weaker than everything. 
It feels like Ivy doesn't even have a good matchup into the other poison comps, which is historically when it's been good. He loses to Pyro 4060. Oh, I was losing to Pyro 0 100. The only times it was close is when they didn't have orb. I didn't mean to do that. He's been a man too. That was yeah, that was not my experience. It wasn't unwinnable, but it wasn't like in the past where you have Ivy and you're very favored. Poison Goob's just such a beating. And they don't really care about your spikes. I mean, I aim to maximize as many as I can, given the rest of the comp. Sometimes you get full IV, sometimes you get, like, five. You can resist a ton, but you don't apply enough poison and you don't have enough damage. Their sustain is just better than yours. Oh, I never pigged it, but it would often end up just like I have zero poison on them at the end of the fight because poison group moves so much. Oh, you were playing whip? I was trying to avoid whip. That could be the difference. I could see whip being a lot better in that matchup because the spikes matter. Don't you have to like Buy Stam, too? Are you just, like, leaving your Dusk Pokers? Hey, Mastermind. Thanks for the Prime. Thanks for the 20 months. Welcome back. He was sick with Steel Goob. I didn't like how Whip forced me to buy Stamina items or leave the Tusk Pokers. Like, the Pokers are also sick with Steel Goob. And it doesn't make the Pyro matchup worse, playing Pokers instead of Whip. I agree. Bots are good. I was going Strong Stone skins every time. But, like, you want more than just a Stamp Pot, even. It's so much Stamp to go Pokers and Whip. I need this. I don't know why I bought this. Whoa! Speaking this up. 
Um, I'll be using this as a trigger for the arrow. here. Pick up all the damage here. Do not crit wood. Stone's not doing anything. I could just grab a rock. Sure. Weird way to do it. Okay. Yeah. What if we just don't do potions this game? Just rely on the vamp armor moon shield. Let's try it. It might be bad. Okay. Did I ever play right here? Pretty much no. <laughs> I've been disappointed by right here too many times. We need these. More mana. Okay. Seems good with all crit or no crit, or just two clovers. Uh, what do you mean? Rapier's got a bunch of weird issues, where, like, it griefs the luck for the rest of your board. So you kind of want to play it as your only weapon if you're scaling it, and then it's also hard to crit with. Because it's going to eat all of your luck as well. Hmm. Not that it can't work, it's just a really awkward weapon. Second cap. Highest base damage in the game, but misses a lot, but needs three luck to trigger. So two clovers keeps it normal? What? I mean, you do want it missing sometimes, because you want it to scale. But it also sucks that it misses sometimes, because you want it to deal damage. Like, if it's not scaling, it's not really worth using. It needs a lot of, like, flutes and blueberries to constantly be getting luck. I 
Where's my Valor final aim? Is there any more gloves? Bonk. Get rid of this easily. If I use this as a trigger. That works. Um, gonna have bad manager in this turn. Probably get away with this if we're not doing a potion stack. Okay. Need speed though. Yeah. Don't the damage without more gloves. What's the other arbor do? Forty five plus twenty for each magic item. Gain three mana reflect two debuffs. Gloves? Can I get some gloves? from 20 to 35. It's more expensive than another gloves, but I desperately need more gloves. the hiding over there. Um I 
This thing, if I... This goes here. I don't think so. If I want the lucky fig on the piercing arrow. Oh, wait, shit. No, this has to be here. Um... Ow. <laughs> God, Obsidian Dragon hits so hard now. Gloves, please. Random spike, go! Okay. Did maybe throw a corrupted crystal on the magic staff? I don't know. Hey, gloves. Good unlock. On sale. It's better than the spike. Probably roll with this. The problem with there being so many irrelevant items in the game is that it is very easy to forget. But sometimes you can combine into one of those irrelevant items and grief your board. Okay. Ow. Gems, hello? That's a good one. All of a 
of a sudden 55% healing reduction. Oh, I could... Might, might as well do this. Ow! Ow. Don't fight Mega Clovers on round 18, kids. The bad plan. Didn't find enough gloves. Yeah, I'm not sure that that was necessarily the problem. That was the issue last fight. I don't know that another couple gloves are fixing this. Honestly, even just like having gems last fight. Would have probably made the difference. This board is just so hard to beat when it gets fully assembled. You ever beat the finished Mega Clover board with this late game? No, probably not. I think that's true for most boards, though. Like, the reason you play this is that it is extremely hard to beat after it gets together. But, like, if you're fighting it pre, like, round 15, you're usually favored. 